in the last video, we split our project into two steps, the pre-processing and the training step, and then we manually ran each of these steps. You see them over here. We had a pre-process data step and a train step. What if we want to run this automatically one after another, create a pipeline out of them? Let's look at that. It's very simple now as we have all the pieces together. So what we do is we go into our Baloha YAML and we have our pipeline here. So we've created a new pipeline. Now pipelines allow you to chain multiple executions one after another. We've named this a uh, training pipeline and we've provided nodes, two nodes, pre-process and train. Consider kind of each node would uh, represent one execution or one step over here. Our first node is called pre-process and our second node is called train. Both are executions. And over here, we've defined which step should be executed as a part of this node. For the pre-process one, we're gonna run our pre-process data step. And for the train one, we're gonna run the train model step. So now we've defined, you know, what are the two nodes that we want to run? Now we need to figure out how do we pass the data from the, uh, the pre-process step to the train step. And that is defined through edges. So what we've said over here is in the pre-process node, once that's completed from its outputs, take all the MPZ files, in our case, it's just one, take all the MPZ files and put them in the train step as inputs and call that input my pre-processed MNIST dataset. So we're basically replacing the default input from there as an input that's generated by the pre-processing steps output. Now what we can do is we can commit, let's actually add all of our files. We can commit and say created pipelines. And then let's put, push these changes over there to our GitHub repository. Now that we have our Git repository updated, we can fetch the newest commit from there. We fetch the new commit. And now we can go to pipelines. We go and create pipeline. It's asking us for a blueprint. We have one blueprint. This is the training pipeline. This is the training pipeline we just defined in our YAML file. And as you can see, it has two nodes, pre-process and the train node. And there's a line between them meaning we take some data from pre-process and we'll push it to train. You can just click create pipeline and this is going to start running through the pipeline, surprisingly. So now we see blue meaning that it's starting, that's running, created and it's running, the pre-processing step. And once that's completed, we'll see that go green and completed. And then we're gonna pass on onto the training step. We're going to pass the output data into the uh, as the input data for the training step. You can have more and more of these steps and you can find some more complex examples on our docs on how you would use pipelines to chain multiple executions and multiple operations one uh, into another. You can also under the logs see what's happening on the pipeline. So we started the pre-process step. In reality, what this just did is it created some executions for us. So we have our pre-process step and now we started on our training step. So if we now look at this one, we see pre-process completed and we started on our training step as well. So this just created two executions and automatically managed starting them off with the right data sets uh, as we had defined in our pipeline. That's it. In our next step, next video, what we're gonna be looking at into how to create a deployment. Next video.